Yo, what up everybody? I'm back again this time. Not Pokemon Sword. This time it is necessarily Big Man 87. One zero 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 with criminal case. Case 5. Uh, Supernational Case 5 Immortal Combat. Back to finally the census and oh I'm since Friday. Alright, let's go. I happened to check it on Gwen. She's playing on face face, but it's stuck. It's stuck no matter how dangerous our preference is. I think I had less rush that she could have been bit by that. Well, I mean, uh, I know what you mean. No, one will fight if you turn. You don't need to remind me. Anyway, I'm sure you want to hear about the story you sent me. The blind was dark dark. It's rich me. You got your, 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 got your murder weapon. But what more? I found chases that been sitting called Eternal Youth and on the sword. The vampires are eternal. What the heck would they need, Mr. Yeah, vampires need a little help to stay like them best. Look, but since Dr. Dr.'s blood body didn't show any traces, most of it, it must have came from your killer. Ah. Well, I probably can't wait to look out her, but now we know our killer used a ton of youth motorized. That now the other suspects this. <clears throat> Jay, that's when we thought we foiled the invincibility plot of vampire vampires. Start the kill ingredient from the right end of our noses. Meanwhile, Dr. Greg is found being here at the if they probably could one of his vampires by guests party guests have an itch to walk against the sun. We found for it that Roxanne Vegas was accurate looking for a glixer recipe she to end. The eyes are fine but the remnants will speak for itself. And then there's Pierce and his plan was it about seducing Gwen like the Grunt King? Or was he looking for the elixir too? Either way, Dog Douglas wasn't happy about it. Eric, meanwhile, was sick of its eventual treatment. Doc Gargus get his get him so called sibling, he clearly fat like the black sheep of the family. And as for the creep, Flan de la Mort, I don't even know what to talk about. Uh, James, uh, what are you guys doing here? We run Doc Gargus. Ay, ay, ay. Doc Gargus said, Oh, whoa, hello. Okay, now we finally said. Thanks a few hours after the vampire stole the dawn of night flood to make the next seven, but we found the car to be headed. There's no way it could go missing. But good dog guys have been involved in the plot. Go ahead just to collect the damage. Either way, uh, Jace, we found our car case, he said. Uh, what do we want me, what do you want me to do with him? Have you two broken? They're on the crime scene, the chief who doesn't meet with a mistake. <laughs> Don't get your eyes on the chest, see, I had this idea. They probably could snip it out with their werewolf for his reason. No, I was right, we found the head in Dr. Agnes' bedroom. Yeah, that did, but we already, you know what, uh, never mind, you guys put the head in the cold storage, JJ and I had. Go ahead and check the bedroom out again. Right. Alright. 
Dad, there was a Spanish cup that was knocked over. She said, but Steve would mention something called the chalice of demands and it's long to knock out this. Right, I'm wondering about that chalice. If he is going to cup with the government like that, and it, it, the, it's that by some of the power. Tell you some of the power might explain how it ended up on the floor. We should also recover the faded fan to cover the fancy book and it's torn up being and it's uh, sure to be a clue. I'll grab the glue. It's not a show the cheat that we saw the mirror and cover the red part behind the fence belly either. Thanks for the plot. Let's get down to work. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm gonna go collect these stars. I need to go, go see what my friend just sent me a message. I'll be back in a little while. See y'all.